Escalating trade tensions and a slowing global economy have led economists at the World Trade Organization to sharply downgrade their forecasts for trade growth from 2.6% to 1.2% in 2019 and 2020. With the US-China trade conflict showing no signs of easing, Chinese companies are facing difficulties, Commerce Minister Zhong Shan recently said. Trade faces unprecedented challenges, both external and internal. China will expand imports and measures to stabilize trade, which will yield positive results, he assured. A trend of increasing import of metallized yarn by developing nations like Pakistan, India, Sri Lanka and Turkey is being observed, according to data of the last two years. Global metallized yarn import increased from $197.39 million in 2017 to $203.58 million in 2018 with a CAGR of 3.13% and is anticipated to reach $219.55 million in 2021. Amidst concerns over use of toxic chemicals to make textiles waterproof, scientists from Alto University have used an ecological method to make garments water-resistant with wax obtained from Brazilian palm tree leaves. Apparel exports from Turkey increased by 1.02% in the first eight months of 2019, according to the data from the Turkish Statistical mm -hmm. Institute. From January to August 2019, Turkey exported apparel worth $11.962 billion compared to exports of $11.681 billion clocked during the first eight months of 2018, the data showed. Egypt is adopting an integrated plan to improve the cotton and textile industries by learning from abroad, Minister of Public Business Sector Hisham Taufik said recently. 25 cotton gins will be merged into 11, which will be ready within three years at triple the capacity. The revenue of the US carpet and rug market was $11.8 billion in 2018, a 2.4% rise over 2017. It reflects the total revenues of producers and importers, excluding logistic costs, retail marketing costs, and retailer margins. The market value rose at an average annual rate of 1.2% from 2013 to 2018. Exports of a range of fashion and textile products from the UK to the US will be hit with a 25% tariff as part of the ongoing dispute between the US and the EU over subsidies granted to both Boeing and Airbus. The list of products that will be facing a 25% tariff includes cashmere jumpers, anoraks, swimwear and bed linen. Advent International, one of the largest global private equity investors, has acquired a 100% stake in Enamor, a women's premium innerwear brand in India, from the India Alternatives, Fairing Capital and promoters for a combined equity value of approximately 320 crore rupees.